So I'm going to talk through what I'm thinking, what I'm seeing. To me, there's places where you can have fun on a bike. Bikes are an enjoyable mode of transport, but they're also fun, but they're also dangerous. And there's a time and a place to have fun. And to me, this is the time and this is the place. Already I'm planning ahead. Coming up to a right hand bend, slowing down, slow down before the bend, not in the bend, but slow down before. You can see there's going to be a junction coming up on my left. Is anything going to pull out of there? I don't know. So we'll just slow down here, currently doing 53. Road's broken up here a bit due to all the rain and everything. Here's the junction. Is anything coming? Have a quick look. No, there isn't. Car coming around the corner, two cars. See the road's a bit damp under the trees, not dried out properly in the sunshine. We've got a position just left the centre. Car over the hill, followed by a van. I always look and see what's coming. I think I look at every vehicle. It's on a country road now. No junctions or anything. So to me, this is where you can have fun. This is where you can open it up, and this is what makes having a bike enjoyable. Not being stupid, but having fun. So yeah, I'm going fast, but not overly fast. Car coming towards me, no problem there. Coming up to a slow sign on the road, brake before the bend, another slow sign on the road, which tell you it's a bend. Advise you, slow down. Just past the junction on my right, nothing coming through there. I can see straight ahead now, see that there's no traffic. Farm on my right, nothing around there. And this is where you can crank it up a bit. Open road, no traffic now, nothing behind me. Truck coming, well it's van coming towards me. Motorcyclist now in front of me that I'm gaining on. Coming up to the left hand bend. Sign on the other side of the road there says flood, so we'll slow down. What we don't want to do is hit a flood in the middle of the bend. It's probably an old sign. Like I said, the, the water is receding now and it is drying out so. Obviously there's still a lot of these signs out, where there is no floods anymore. Right, coming up to a staggered junction now. Slow on the road, so I'm coming round the corner. A sign telling me to slow down, which I am doing. Signs are there to be observed for your own safety. They're advising you what to do. Junction on my left, pub on my right. Is anything going to pull out? Is anything pulling out of the pub car park? No, it isn't. We've passed the hazard now, and we can accelerate. I said, bike in front of me, car in front of him. I'm always looking ahead. I'm looking down there. I'm not looking here, right in front of a bike. I'm looking as far as I can see. Left hand bend, tightens, still tight, still tight, still tight, opens out. Right hand bend. Fairly open right hand bend. car coming towards me, three cars I think that was, bike overtaking the car in front as you can see, check the mirrors, right two signs on the left I've spotted them already, crossroads and a left hand bend, so a double hazard here, slow on the road, telling you to slow down, so slow down, so there's the crossroads and the bend, the crossroads on a bend, so it's telling you to slow down, slow down, doing it for your safety, not because someone has some paint left over and decided to just to paint something on the road for the sake of it. But having a bike is all about enjoying it and overtaking cars, so I can see now there's one car coming around the corner, one behind it, the bike's disappearing off into the distance. I want to overtake this car, I'm checking my mirrors and I'm going to go straight after this. So to me that was progressing safely, right and bend, car coming, you can see dry dirt on the road, so obviously near a farm or something, so there you are on the off side of the road, plenty of crap, nice and open now, nice and straight, bikes disappeared off into the distance, right round the corner, left hand bend, you can 
can see it's tight. You can see when it opens out. So tight, 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 opens out. Coming up to a left hand turn and slow on the road. Farm traffic, there's a farm. So you've got to spot these signposts and you, as you ride it, don't just focus on the road. You need to observe all the warning signs, all the hazard signs. So we passed, so there we passed, we went through a bend and at the same time there's a crossroads and the same time a sign advertising farm traffic. So there's a farm around, so it could be animals on the road, it could be a slow tractor, it just could be somebody pulling or in or out of the farmyard. So back on open road now, left on bend, pretty wide open road, see straight through that one. Car still coming towards you. Another check in the mirrors. You can see that there's nothing behind me now, nothing at all. That car that I overtook, the white one, is well behind. You can see that the road's wet here, shining in the sun. So wet surface, which means you haven't got as much grip. So just take it easy, especially coming up to bends, you don't want to hit a wet patch and loads of shit in the middle of the road at the same time mud on road. So if there's mud on the road, you need to take care. There you are. And this is because of all the rain and everything with that. It's just washed everything and brought everything to the surface. And for bikes, it's a freaking nightmare. But it's telling you there's mud on the road, so be careful. Coming up to a crossroads, I've already spotted the sign. I can see the tractor. I can see cars and bikes coming towards me. Tractor's turning left. So I turn to my right. Past the cars and bikes, junction on the left and right, nothing coming over there. So always, to me, riding safe, driving safe is always about looking ahead, planning ahead. Look as far in the distance as you can literally see. You'll pick things up a lot easier and a lot quicker. And then you'll be able to plan into a left hand bend now, cars coming round. You can see where the bend opens out. I'm going to do a video about vanishing points and about bends. A couple of slow signs in the middle of the road and a left hand junction. Cars pulling out there. Is that red car going to pull out on me? No, he's not. Just move out to the road to centre line just in case he does give myself a bit of extra room. sign there, warning sign, pedestrians. So the pedestrians around. I don't want pedestrians walking in the road, so I'm just going to edge out towards the middle, just in case there's a pedestrian around the corner. Got a long right on bend now. Car in front's braking, down to a 30 mile an hour zone. Gear down, and drop the speed down to 30. Still red car behind me. Fair distance behind me. Car indicating in front of me there. Is it going to pull across? No, he's not. Right, road narrowing. Car in front braking. We're going over a little bridge. Petrol station on the left. Is anybody going to pull out of there? No, they're not, but always have a look just in case. Traffic lights. I'm going to pull the sign for other routes, I think. sign in the middle of the road there again on the on the road and another one so they tell me to go slow why why do you want me to go slow because we're going around a pretty tight bend so that's why they want me to go slow like i said the signs are there for a reason they're warning you advising you that there's a hazard so observe them and you'll stay safer and you'll feel a lot more comfortable you'll feel a lot more confident you don't want to be leaving things for the last minute and panicking and locking your front wheel up and because you're not planning ahead. You plan ahead, 
you plan ahead, you can anticipate things and you can you've, you've got time to plan your actions rather than just leaving everything to the last minute. Oh my god, I'm on that bend, I didn't realise it was there. Well, you didn't realise it was there because you weren't being observant, so... Like I said, I haven't got any skills or qualifications to preach to people how to ride. I'm just telling you the way I ride and I feel that I'm a safe rider because this is the way I ride. This is the way I drive. It's all about enjoying your life, but in a safe manner. Yeah, I open it up when it's safe to open it up sticking within the speed limits of course officer but I open it up when the opportunity is there to open it up but in a 30 mile an hour zone I'll do 30 what annoys me is some car drivers that they'll be in a 50 mile an hour zone and they'll be doing 30 well if I'm in a 50 I'll do a 50 it's about progression and safe progression if I'm in a 30 I'll do 30 40, 40 and so on So it's about progressing safely and enjoying your ride. Again, a sign there saying that road narrows, a couple of slow signs on the road because we're coming up to a bridge which is obviously narrower than the road, so slow down and beware. Right, national speed limit sign. So to me, this is where you can open it up and enjoy yourself. This is the pleasure of riding a bike. So that was my video on how I feel that I ride safely, what I'm observing, what I'm seeing and what I'm planning. So I hope you've enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.